When taking the derivative of a radical, where there is more than one term under the radical sign, the chain rule should be used. Here, I'm going to find the derivative of f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 1. The first step before differentiating is to rewrite the radical as a fractional exponent. The square root of x squared minus 2x plus 1 is the same thing as x squared minus 2x plus 1 to the 1 half power. Now I'm ready to differentiate with the chain rule. Let's recall that the chain rule in this situation can be thought of as, well, the derivative of f of x, where f of x is any differentiable function to the n power, is equal to, well, the power goes to the front, the function is unchanged, and the power is reduced by 1, and then multiplied at the end, chained along at the end, is the derivative of that function. In this situation, my function is x squared minus 2x plus 1. The power is 1 half. Let's differentiate with the chain rule. First, we take the power of 1 half, move it to the front. x squared minus 2x plus 1 remains unchanged, and the original power, 1 half, is reduced by 1 to become negative 1 half. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Then, we have to multiply by the derivative of x squared minus 2x plus 1, which is 2x minus 2. Term by term, the derivative of x squared is 2x, the derivative of negative 2x is minus 2, and the derivative of 1 is 0, which I won't write at all. This is the derivative, 1 half times x squared minus 2x plus 1 to the negative 1 half power times 2x minus 2, but there are some simplifications that can be made. Let's do that next. The first simplification that I made is I took x squared minus 2x plus 1 to the negative 1 half power, and since it was raised to a negative exponent, I moved it to the bottom of a fraction. In that denominator, I also wrote the 2, which was the denominator of the 1 half, and I wrote 2x minus 2 in the numerator of the fraction. 2x minus 2 has a common factor of 2 that can be factored out to the front, and x squared minus 2x plus 1 to the 1 half power is the same thing as the square root of x squared minus 2x plus 1, basically going backwards from what I did in the first step. And finally, there's a factor of 2 in the numerator and a factor of 2 in the denominator that divide away to be 1, leaving me with my final answer, the derivative of f of x is x minus 1 all over x squared minus 2x plus 1.